Hey guys, Chris134667, Crazy Reflex here, going at you with a gameplay that I thought was pretty good. It was uh, me going 40 to 10. Now, 40 to 10, Crazy Reflex, we know you're better than that. Why do you put this in? Now, the reason why, because I thought that there's two there's two good moments in this, and I, they're epic moments, and I love epic moments. So I put it in here, and you're thinking right now, why does your voice sound shit right now? Now, I broke my... X11s, that is what I use. The wires were wrapped around the ears, where your ears go, and then I pulled it on my head, and then both of them got snapped off. So I'm using my brother's beats right now for listening while my X11 draw arm and X so I could speak to my teammates. And uh, we got a good questions today that I really had to think about. Um, the questions are uh, all right. Um, what I'm using right now, I'm using. A G, the, the standard class G36C with the um, PP901 because I, I don't know, UMP, I won't ever touch that gun. I've never fired a bullet of that gun and I, I just hate it. Now you're saying, you know, it's not overpowered that much, but if someone raped your whole family, you wouldn't really forgive them, wouldn't you? And there's been so many times Modern Warfare 2 where that gun has been horrible. I can't remember if it was in Black Ops or not. I can't remember. But, um, and that's. And, okay, that what I'm using right now, so, because I'm low rank, this is what I have to use. I would use a ACR or M7 or P90, but yeah. Okay, on to the questions. Um, uh, what guns are overpowered? This is a great question, because there's a lot of controversy in this. Um, FMG, now, you all knew I was going to say this, but this is my opinion on it. The FMG, it, it, it has, it's a, it's an okay gun now because they've patched it like four times. But it's slightly overpowered, not that much. Got a, wait, what, what was, got a hit marker here. Turn around, fire another one. It got a five in one. That's an automatic care package for me. And that's one of the reasons why I put this in. Five, five in one, it was bloody awesome. Back to the FMGs, they, all right, accuracy is shit. The recoil is shit. All you, you can only kill someone if you're extremely close, which is why I'd rather the G18s if you want to go back to Modern Warfare 2. Um, I'm pretty sure I get a sentry gun here. Here's Impacts. He's a good player. And the FMDs, they... I don't know. You would, I'd rather the G18s because they're a little bit stronger. Um, Type 95. A lot of you knew I was going to say this because this gun is overpowered. They, they lowered it a bit in recoil-wise and... When they put damage on it, it was two bullets per kill, and that annoyed the crap out of me because a lot of people did that. Um, <laughs> it was yeah, I didn't like the Time 95 that much, especially with like rapid fire. Um, ACR, now this gun isn't overpowered, and I'm telling you why. This is a strong gun that destroyed while I was about to get it. This is a strong gun, but it, it's slow. And that's why it's only good for medium to long range. A PP901 will smash you when you're using an ACR in a closed room. And that's why I I'd, I'd think don't think the ACR it's it's a good balanced gun. Um, MK14. This gun is annoying because when you get when someone's shooting at you, you don't even see a red screen. You almost die instantly because you know you can shoot really fast with it. I wouldn't say a rapid fire remote helps because I think they patch. I wouldn't say they patch. It's just hard to use them because then the gun jams. I got a nice stab there. Um, and. I just, just, yeah, with damage it was horrible because it was one bullet. Striker. Now this is why it isn't overpowered. It takes like half a prestige to get to do the proficiency damage, and that's that's what's balanced about it. It takes forever to get damage because yeah, it's, it's a really shit gun without it, and you can't you don't aim in with the striker, and you only put grip on steady aim. There's nothing. That's why you only put grip. A lot of you know that by now. But it takes half a prestige to get damage. If you don't have damage, it's a shit weapon. Okay, now onto attachments. Silencers, I think they are extremely underpowered. They, when you put a silencer on, it feels like the gun is at half its strength, no matter what range you are from. Because, I know, I think they patch it, fail right there. Uh, I think they patch it because whenever I'm not using a silencer, I feel that the gun is way stronger. And whenever I am, it just feels like the gun is weak and just choppy sort of sluggish that's why I don't I think they should you know put a little more range into silencer I think a lot of people are getting annoyed with that now um x it, that's it's good x because it does take a while to get it uh, my vest saved me it does take a while to get it and it gives you a sufficient amount of ammo 
What else? Um, uh, I think the hammer scope is a little bit less recoil, like on the P90 or the MP7. I love the hammer scope. I used it a lot in my younger prestiges. Um, okay, we'll go on to the perks now. Oh, what perks? Probably assassin because that one, you you're away from. You, you're hidden from motion sensors, heartbeat sensors, UAVs, and advanced UAVs. Now, if you have, if you have Assassin Pro, you you're nothing affects you. You don't have fucking, you don't like advanced UAV can't see you, and you and counter UAV did, takes no effect, and that's useless because if you're playing search like me and you like to put your kill streaks as counter UAV, UAV, and Advanced UAV, then you're gonna use none of the, it's all gonna be obsolete with that one perk on. Now, okay, marksman, I that kind of, it's a little bit, little bit just um overpowered because it's like a wall hack pretty much. Like you can see him through bushes and that, and I've said that before. And it, it, I love love marksman, but if they have assassin on, they yeah make that perk obsolete as well, which is why I think it should be reversed. You should only be invisible to you know, Harpic sensors, UAVs on Assassin and on like Assassin Pro, you should be invisible to everything because the testing protects a while to get. Um, and then, yeah, that's Marksman, it's just obsolete when they have Assassin. Kill streaks, uh, overpowered. So, um, what kill streaks are overpowered? Let's see. I think the Reaper isn't strong enough. It used to be strong in the first week, but it, it isn't strong enough now. I get too many hit markers and he. They don't have, uh, no, I think it's called, uh, whatever, whatever the flak jacket perk is in this game. I don't use it that much, got another double. Whatever that is, it's not overpowered, but the Reaper is underpowered, it needs to be stronger. In my opinion, guys. Um, Osprey, now this isn't overpowered. This takes forever to get. You need to get a Reaper, and then your Ace 130, and then an Osprey. Isn't overpowered. Might even be a little bit weak, because it does take like 18 kills to get. And that's, you know, <laughs> a while. Um, now, onto support. When you have a stealth bomber, because you're dying, like, once every once every one kill, so if you get a kill, then you die, you get a kill, then you die. You have, like, 18 kills to, like, 20 deaths or something, and you release a stealth bomber, and it annoys the crap out of me because, you know, it's not supporting anything, it's supporting your goddamn kills, and that's what's really annoying. EMP, it's sort of overpowered, but not really because, you know, you're still using the whole match to try and get it, and it's pretty good. It like usually two of my friends will use an EMP, like one after it consecutively after the other, while I'm using an H130 or somebody else is using an H130. Now on to death streaks. Uh, yeah, the the they some dickhead thought okay. In COD 5, they had Marty Adom and Last Stand. Let's put them together, except add C4. They came up with Dead Man's Hand. And what that is, it's stronger than the actual C4 itself, which is the most annoying thing, quite possibly. And that, that was super bad because so many people got disadvantaged by that. And that's why, you know, in, in COD, they said, all right, we'll, we'll, COD Black Ops, they went and said, all right, we won't have any proficiencies now. But. Uh, death streaks, but we will have uh, last stand. And Monofo Three said, "No, we won't have last stand. Instead, we'll have final stand. Whatever it is, the death proficiency. Death prof I'm saying proficiency. I like proficiency. It's the death streak. So now they get back up, and they added a C4, which is stronger than the actual C4. Um, okay, now I got this question a lot. What do I think about glitches? I don't. I don't think that much of glitches. Like." Um, I don't know, if, if it's a simple get out of the map, I don't mind it that much, as long as you're not, not like, getting mobs off it. Because, I don't know, in effect, it's kind of fun to do it, to get out of the map. But I, I wouldn't do anything like that, and there's this one where, like, you shoot people and they go flying. I'm not too bad, but the token glitch, I didn't do that, but my friend Impulse did, and he got reset, but he kept all his shit from it, like, he kept all his guns, all his unlocks and whatever, but uh, he couldn't enter the, the shop no more. And, um, uh, yeah, that's not too bad on it. Well, the damage proficiency glitch, I've never tried that, don't worry, I wanted to get, I did, I happy got eliminated, which I was good. Now, you're about to see the second reason why I got, um, why I chose this video to be in this. Because I, I loved it, and I thought it was, um, pretty good. So, um, 
this is yeah crazy reflex <laughs> closing it in and that is uh, one of my best kills he's done unfortunately I was still low rank so I didn't get that finishing moves challenge which is really annoying <laughs> but yeah this was now my um, emblem was a 500 kills with an ace 130 and that's my title and I uh, went 40 to 10 this is a uh, crazy reflex Chris one three four six six seven uh, drop a like then pick it up again and drop it again because you have butterfingers and you're a klutz and you don't know what you're doing. So this is Chris one three four six six seven crazy reflex. Peace.